Welcome, Jocelyn Facebook fans. This is Jack Newby, the Executive Director of the Jocelyn Center, welcoming you to our uh, Friday interview show. Today, um, we're going to be talking about volunteerism and, and what you can learn from it and the things that you can, the satisfaction you can get from that. Uh, before we get into that interview, um, just want to go over some of the things that are coming up here at the Jocelyn Center. So we've got our problem solving strategies. And, you know, so many people now are stressed out and upset with, with this virus and what's happening in the community and having to wear masks. And, and it's just unnerving. And so many people are depressed and having a hard time even coming out of, you know, this, this lockdown that we were in for uh, almost 18 months. So our problem solving strategies is a counseling program. Uh, it can help you with a licensed therapist uh, who uh, has graduated from school and they're working on their hours and they're supervised by uh, a licensed clinical social worker. So it's a free program and we really encourage you if you're having some problems uh, transitioning through this terrible pandemic and what's still going on, give us a call and we can get you set up with that. Um, we also, our fitness center is open um, and that is uh, gym quality uh, weights and, and machines in our, um, in our fitness center, which is in the wellness center offices. And you can call and make an appointment that would be with uh, Veronica Stevens at extension 117. Um, and again, our number is 760-340-3220. Uh, and Veronica is at extension 117. And you would call her also for the problem solving strategies. Zumba is back. So our Zumba class is Monday and Fridays at eight o'clock. Um, so that'll get you up early and uh, really get in there and exercise. Um, Pinochle is back at 10 o'clock. Um, also, our Go for Life class, which is Monday through Thursday, another exercise class, um, that's free, and that's at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, and then balance conditioning. So lots of exercise classes for you, and our newest one uh, is working with the City of Palm Desert uh, at their aquatic center, and that's water exercise. Um, visit our website at joslincenter.org, and you can find out um, both of our on-site programming and we're continuing with virtual programming and also coming up for those of you that want to get a little more, little more uh, comfortable with using Zoom for meetings, uh, we have a training class just for you. So those are some of the things coming up. Again, visit our website at joslincenter.org or call us at 760-340-3220 um, and we will help you find out what you need. So volunteering is very important and our volunteer coordinator here, Judy Sterling, uh, is gonna talk to us about volunteer opportunities here at the Jocelyn Center and um, also how volunteering can help you. So Judy, we'll let you unmute and there you are. <laughs> how are you, you this Josh. morning? Good, good. I'm great. Hi, everybody. I've missed being on this show because, uh, as you may remember, Veronica and I used to do the variety show once a week. So I've missed you. It's nice to be back. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I have been going, I have been at the Jocelyn Center, believe it or not, Jack. It'll be two years, September 9th. And um, it's been a great experience. But before that, in my past life, my past career life, I was in human resources as a human resources manager, specialist, whatever title you want in human resources for over 35 years. So, so that's a great background for someone with volunteers of that experience working with people in that kind of environment. Yes, yes. So, our volunteers can feel comfortable coming to you and, and if they have any issues. So it's really a, a great resource. So, um, you know, one of the things we, we've talked about is why volunteer, especially, you know, so as people get older and retire and they're looking forward to their golden years, 
a lot of times they start feeling isolated and alone. So what about why volunteer and how can that help people? You know, I can speak from personal experience because um, when I retired, quote unquote, I was bored. I was very bored and I thought, I've got to do something. And so fortunately, I uh, found the Jocelyn Center, but volunteering helps you um, help other people, if that makes sense, because every one of our senior citizens has a wealth of knowledge that they can share with other people. And statistically, can hardly say that, um, people live longer when they volunteer. Uh, They're giving of themselves. um, It increases self-confidence. They're sharing with other people. And when you make other people feel good, in turn, you feel better. Uh, And it also fights depression. Uh, because you're, you know, out there with other people. And um, it also helps you physically, too. And then those are all really important because one of the, the studies that we see all the time is the most dangerous thing for um, a person's health after they retire is loneliness and isolation. And yes. you know, I repeat this this all the time, but the research shows that loneliness and isolation can have the same health consequences as smoking two packs of cigarettes a day. So we know (laughs) uh, what that does to us. So it's really important that the volunteer process or volunteering helps expand your social network, your knowledge network. You might get to learn how to work with computers. So there are a lot of opportunities available there. Right, right, yeah. So talking um, about, op- oh, go ahead. Some of the opportunities that we have here at the Jocelyn Center, I'll just name a few. I really need people to participate in the Friendly Caller program. This is, I can't stress how important this program is because we have volunteers that call people once a week, um, just check on them to, and say hi how are you doing uh and you're probably might be the only person that they talk to all week so we have that program and i i give you training before i just throw you to somebody um but it really helps the people that can't get out or that don't have any family and you're the only contact you would be amazed how you can make somebody's day really special just by this one phone call. And then, and then you set up a um, schedule with them. Hey, can I call you next week? What's a good time for you? And so you develop a friendship with them. Uh, we have that program. Uh, we also, if you don't want to talk to people, you can write thank you notes, just cheery little notes saying, I hope you're having a great day. And we send these out to people that um, might be shut in or we send them with our Meals on Wheels to those people. So that's another opportunity to volunteer. Uh, Let's see, front desk. I can always use front desk people. It's a highly uh, interaction with everybody that comes in um, into Jocelyn. You get to meet all sorts of people and it's fun. Uh, The next um, way that you might volunteer is we need clerical help in the office. So if you have computer skills or can file or you have an office background, please, please see me because we can we can definitely use. I'll pick one of those. (laughs) Yeah, Jack needs help. We have special events, hopefully in the fall, we're gonna be opening up and having special, uh, more special events like we used to, and I'll need volunteers for that. Um, And also, if anybody out there is a financial advisor, we would be more than happy to have them volunteer at our wellness center. Um, A lot of senior citizens have questions on you know, what to do with their finances and just need guidance. So 
that that's a big list there. And okay, let's, have... let's, let's talk a little bit about some of those. Now, the, the Friendly okay. Caller Program, you know, we talked about the benefits to volunteers of, of reducing their isolation. That really helps re not only the volunteer, um, but especially the person who can't get out, who's not able to get to the right. Johnson Center to participate. You know, it really reduces their isolation. And it's the right. testimonies and, and the feedback we've gotten from those clients. They are so grateful for that, for that check-in each week. Right, yes, yes. And sometimes they just, all you need to do is listen to them because they, they probably haven't talked to somebody in a day or so and they just want to talk. So sometimes all you need to do is just be a listener. And the, the, the note program, you know, just sometimes it's, we call it, it's like being a pen pal from what we called in the old days when you and I were growing up. Um, um, and also the chance to write thank you notes to some of our donors, special thank you notes from our members to donors are really meaningful to them. And it's probably more meaningful to them when they get that thank you note from a member than if they get the, the formal letter from, you know, that we, that we send out. So that's a really important program. Um, and it's something that people can do in their own time. And Jack, but, let me add, let me add to that. It's just nice nowadays with email, texting, blah, blah, blah. It's nice to get a handwritten note from somebody. And I think uh, a lot of people really still appreciate handwritten notes. I know I do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it really, and that really is a good point. We're, I read an article a long time ago about high tech versus high touch. And, um, you know, those personal handwritten notes, a phone call, in a way, all this technology can be isolating. Um, and so to get that handwritten note or to get a phone call from someone that cares really is what we call high touch. And that's more, you know, that can be so much more meaningful and so much help, more helpful to the, the people that are involved. Um, front desk is the heart of the Jocelyn Center. <laughs> um, yes. Phone calls, and you have the opportunity to learn a lot about community resources and what's available and what's happening at the Jocelyn Center. So that's a, we need some really, you know, people that are, have been familiar with maybe being a receptionist in an office or being an office assistant or a, or, or a personal assistant or someone that has those sorts of skills because that's kind of what, what the front desk is. It, and, and our volunteers at the front desk, they're the face of the Jocelyn Center. They are the first person uh, that many people meet when they first walk in the door. Um, right. Special events, we've got some great ones coming up and they're fun. Uh, wine and all that jazz is coming up. We have a cocktail party coming up. And of course our fashion show later in the year and volunteers for that can, you know, are really um, critical to the success of those events. So um, that's a great resource. And we really appreciate those special event volunteers. And the financial advisor that's part of our uh, program we're working on is, with so much going on and, and the way technology is happening and needing to check passwords or can you access your bank account online and pay your bills online. Um, but sometimes now, especially as we're seeing prices go up and um, people's income remain the same, learning how to budget and um, take care of their financial resources is, is really important. So someone listening, we would love to hear from you. Um, right. So, you know, volunteering, we talked about how it can be so meaningful to the volunteer. What are some of the things that you've heard from our volunteers that are, that are meaningful to them? Um, one of our volunteers told me that the reason they like to volunteer is because they have received so much positive in their life that they want to give back which is really, really wonderful. Um, and another one, it said to me, you know, I volunteer because it makes me feel good. And really that's, that's what it's all about. When you give, you receive. So, and, and the last one, it's, 
a good way to meet people. If you're lonely and single, you might meet Mr. Wright or Mrs. Wright. <laughs> but it's still a good way to meet people and it, interact with them. So. And that's really, that's socialization. I mean, the volunteer program is not only, you know, certainly a great help to the Jocelyn Center, it is equally beneficial to the volunteer because right. they, they may be isolated themselves. They may have lost or you know their social network as as we get older that happens um and it's a way to rebuild that and to renew it and meet new people and make new friends and that's the other important part of the volunteer program it isn't just you know providing services for the Johnson center it really is important for the volunteer right mm -hmm. so I want to thank you, Judy, for taking the time with us this morning and, and appreciate your pleasure. And so if someone wants to volunteer, um, how would they get in touch with you? They would call the Jocelyn Center uh, and I'm at extension 103. Just ask for Judy. So that's 760-340-3220, extension 103, and ask for Judy. Or if you come in, um, you may see Judy at the front desk or pop your head into our office. <laughs> um, and we do have a volunteer application on our website. So that's something, uh, a way you can start. So that's, you know, we really appreciate our volunteers and, and look forward to welcoming you um, and bringing in some new volunteers and, and experiencing that satisfaction that you get. And, you know, sometimes we forget, we're, we ask for, you know, financial contributions from our donors and that sort of thing. The contribution of time and talent is invaluable and we really appreciate it. So yes. um, again, so I want to thank, me. what? I said, call me. <laughs> call, call Judy. <laughs> so again, I want to thank you. Um, wish everyone a happy Friday. Um, and we will be back next Friday with our interview show um, and look forward to seeing you then. So have a great weekend, um, have a glass of wine. And if you get to know Judy, you'll know why I said that. So she's, <laughs> she's our local wine connoisseur. <laughs> Bye okay. everyone. Bye.